What's up fellow nerds? I'm Josh. I'm Stephanie. And welcome to For the Love of Nerd. And today we are bringing you a very special book haul. It's actually going to be a library book haul. Whoa. All the books that we got at the library recently, we're going to share those with you guys and hopefully get you guys interested in them. So let's begin. Okay, first up we have here volumes 25, 26, 27, and 28 of Rurouni Kenshin by... It's Nabuhiro Watsuki. Josh is a lot better at pronouncing things, so he interjected for me. But this is a manga series about a samurai who takes part in a revolutionary war, and then once the war is over, he takes a vow not to kill, and goes on many adventures with a reverse blade sword that allows him to fight, but does not allow him to kill. So basically all his adventures are centered around him trying to keep this vow not to kill anyone, and it's getting really intense. As you can see, I have the last four volumes here. I started it last year, got it about halfway through, then picked it up again this year, and I'm getting ready to finish it off. The next book we have is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Now, this is our physical copy that we own, but I'm actually listening to it because I needed an audiobook, and the audiobook is in my car, and I didn't want to get it because I'm lazy, so I just have this lovely visual aid for you. But yeah, this is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan, and uh, it's about three demigods who uh, turn up at Camp Half-Blood. That's about all I know about this book, and that's all I want to know because I kind of want to go into it not knowing much. But I love the Percy Jackson series, and every book that I've read by Rick I've loved, so I see no reason that I won't love this one. Now for the last of my books I have here, we need to talk about Kevin by Lionel Shriver. This is a book about a young man who goes on a killing rampage at his school and ends up murdering a bunch of kids and a teacher. And the book is uh, built up of letters of his mother to his father talking about Kevin's upbringing and what went wrong and what she could have done differently and actually delves into her feelings of not wanting children at all and whether or not that affected Kevin and made him go on his killing rampage. Now this book is actually very interesting because I started it a couple days ago and listened to about three CDs or so and got to a point where I decided that it was actually negatively affecting my thought process and the way I was thinking about life and so I decided that I didn't want to continue. Um, I, For those of you who know me, Josh knows this, I don't put books down, like it's just not a thing that I do. But in this case, I felt like the benefits didn't really, it wasn't really balanced out. Like me finishing this, there was no real benefit to it if it was going to affect my thoughts negatively. So I'm, I'm not gonna finish it. I'm sorry to those of you who really enjoyed it. It's not a bad book, that's not what I'm saying. From what I listened to of it, it actually was very well written, but um, for, for my own mental health, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna finish this one off. So the first book I'm reading in my library hall is The Amulet of Samarkand by Jonathan Stroud. This is book one in the Bartimaeus trilogy, and I think it's a really fun read. Honestly, I'm kind of a sucker for those middle grade reads. So books like The Amulet of Samarkand and the Artemis Fowl series really get me going. It's like book candy for me. I just pop it in my mouth, enjoy the little sizzle, but a lot of it's probably not very good for my reading habits. But if you do enjoy these kind of books, I'm sure you'll also really enjoy this one. It's a fun read. So the second book I'm looking forward to reading in my library hall is Fable Haven by Brandon Mull. It's one of those books that Goodreads has continued to recommend to me. It's middle grade, but I don't really know much about it. It kind of catches my eye because Fable Haven cool name, plus it's got this really neat golem-like creature on the cover. Unfortunately, I am a little nervous, not gonna lie. When your book has a quote by Christopher Paolini at the bottom saying it's one of the most enjoyable books he's ever read, that makes me a little nervous. So we're gonna give it a whirl. I'm holding my breath, but hopefully it will be enjoyable. The next book I'm reading is The Black Lung Captain by Chris Wooding. This is a sequel to Retribution Falls, which if you haven't heard of that book before, it's essentially Firefly and steampunk all rolled into one. If you really enjoy that kind of genre, or if you're just looking for a book to read by a British author that's just not that half bad, go ahead and go for it. I will say there's nothing really unique about Retribution Falls or The Black Lung Captain. It's essentially about the tales of the Kitty Hawk, 
that's their pirate ship as they go adventuring, do goods and theft, and just try and not stay bankrupt. Unfortunately, there's nothing spectacular about these books. They're fun reads, they're fast reads, but it's not a book that I would own. I actually had this book for four months and barely managed 80 pages into it before I had to return it. So we're going to give it a second go a year later and see if I can do it justice. The last book in my library haul is Gentleman's Blood by Barbara Holland. I recently learned about this book at a conference earlier this year. The speaker was hilarious, and he did a session on how to give good illustrations when you're speaking in front of people. His first recommendation? Reading, reading, reading. And this was the first book that he recommended to us. Naturally, I had to get it. It's pretty fascinating. I've started it, and I'm not very far yet, but it's all about the art of dueling and its history. It gives all the rules and comments and things you have to follow. It is a little bit dry, so it's not as interesting as it was uh, portrayed to me. But nonetheless, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to muscle through it, and I'm going to see how it goes. So that's going to be it for our library haul today, guys. These are all the books that we got from the library. Uh, I'm going to stand here and do nothing. Look pretty. Let Josh do all Come the work. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let him do all the work since he's here. But yeah, if you guys read any of these books, please let us know. Leave a comment down below. Ding. If you liked them, if you didn't, what you thought. Uh, we'll try to interact with you guys in the comments as much as possible because we really want to talk to some of you guys and see what you're thinking. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please go and click that subscribe button. Our Twitter and Instagram are linked down below. Go follow us there. As always... May your books be many. And your interruptions few. Bye, guys. The audiobook is actually in my car, and I didn't feel like grabbing it because I'm lazy. That was Calcifer. I'm going to do that again.